Welcome back. Much of what we know about Hurricane Dorian comes from hurricane hunters who track storms from the sky and look at this from the eye of the hurricane. Now it provides vital work for meteorologists on the ground and crucial information on those hurricanes. NBC6's Dan Grossman got to experience the terrifying thrill of flying into the eye of Dorian and spend time with the crew members who zigzag through dangerous storms. It's early. 2.30 to be exact. We're tired, but the crew is not. Yeah, fire it up. There are tweaks to make, lists to check. The minutia of their everyday life that is far from busy work. The mentality is you don't, you don't pack up, you don't leave until everything's done. Casey Densmore is 23, yet he's already flown through the eye wall of a hurricane 68 times. Today will be his third time doing so with Dorian. We are flying storms, so it's a very high operation. It doesn't phase him. It never has, because for Casey and the other eight crew members aboard this WC-130J, passion mitigates fear. Casey started collecting data from the ocean waters that feed hurricanes at 19. His hope is to become a naval airman next year, and he's got the smarts. The, the while pilot Major Ben Blair has the heart. Been flying since uh, 2000. Having flown Dorian twice before, today will mark Ben's 66th, 67th, 68th, and 69th trip through the eye of a hurricane, something he first traces back to his childhood, and then the year 2006. Growing up on the Gulf Coast and dealing with hurricanes all my life, Hurricane Rita, prior to my uh, coming to the unit here, um, had to evacuate. It was the same year as Katrina, about a month after Katrina, if I recall. And pretty much the entire metropolitan area of Houston tried to evacuate. Ben remembers the evacuation notices his family got when Hurricane Rita threatened his hometown. So many families ran then, and it helped fuel his desire to fly towards now. It's a cool feeling knowing that we're, we're part of that puzzle and uh, getting all the data to to the folks who need to know. And that goes for every one of the eight crew members on board today. Each has a story that drives them to fly into harm's way so they can help others get out. Reporting in Biloxi, Mississippi, Dan Grossman, NBC6 News.